Hello Heritage, it's good to see you today. Uh, I am here with you at the dinner table and the reason that I'm here at the dinner table is because I'm using this as an object lesson for my devotion today. This, is, this has become a place for my family to, uh, in this time, to sit and to worship God and to dig into His Word and to pray with one another and pray for one another, uh, to sing songs, uh, kids' songs if needs be, because a lot of our kids are younger, whatever the case may be. And at, as I was reading through Joshua and I was finishing up the book of Joshua, I, um, I came across a, a very familiar verse, uh, and it talked, it's, it's chapter 24, verses 14 through 16, and it's, it's Joshua at the end of his life, and he's admonishing the, uh, the people of Israel to, to choose for themselves who they are going to worship. And pre before that, he had, he had given this, uh, this great defense of God and, and what he has done over the course of, of Joshua's life and, um, and all the things that have happened as a result of God's intervention in, in the, the, uh, the history of the people of Israel. And so uh, in verse 14, he starts and he says, Now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in faithfulness. Put away the gods that your fathers served beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord. And if it is evil in your eyes to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your fathers served in the region beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And then the response of the people in verse 16, then the people answered, for far be it from us that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. And that's the challenge today. For, my, for me, in this time, when we can't meet together as a, as a large church, uh, we, are, we are sitting at the dinner table, and we're using this opportunity at the dinner table to, uh, to learn about God, to worship Him, to dig into His Word, and, and to grow spiritually. How are you? Uh, how are you serving God? What God are you serving? What time are you taking out of your day to, to get into his word? How are you leading your family? These are all important questions to ask. And, and honestly, I hope that just like, uh, just like Joshua, you would take, you would take that, that challenge seriously. And you would say, I'm going to either serve God or, or I'm going to serve something else. There's, just, there's, there's no two ways about it. There's no... Um, there's no middle ground. You're either serving God or you're not, or you're serving something else. And, and so that's really the challenge for today is, is who are you serving? And what does that look like in your context? Maybe it's the dinner table. Maybe it's the coffee table. Maybe it's a, an upright piano that you have at your house. Or, or, or maybe it's bedtime, right before bed, and you're sitting down with your kids or, or just you and your spouse or, or yourself alone uh, at, the, at the edge of your bed. We have an opportunity today to bring the, the temple worship and bring the, the tabernacle worship, bring the church worship into our homes. And I pray, my prayer is that even at the end of all of this, when we're able to worship again, that the, the praise and the worship and the, the prayer that started here with my family doesn't end here. It continues even beyond, uh, even beyond these times. Hey, I love you. Um, it was good to, good to talk with you today. I hope you have a great day. Uh, in Jesus' name.